Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and this is Idaho Up. Not too long ago I did an install video of the Moon's MC motorcycle pegs. If you haven't seen that video, you're probably going to want to go check it out before you watch this one because like the thumbnail said, this is an update to that video. So I'll put a link to that video right here so you can go check it out. With that said, if you've watched that video, you remember that I had some frustrations when I was installing the rear set of pegs. That's because I didn't have a Moon's MC brand clevis and I'm happy to report that I do now. Now whether or not they had these when I made this video, I honestly don't know, but I swear to God I checked their website and these weren't available at the time I checked and now they are and now you'll notice that there's both holes for the rear set and the ratcheting system, which I didn't want to lose and now I don't have to. So big thanks to Moon's MC for releasing that product. I am now a happy man. Matter of fact, I came across those clevises when I was checking Moon's MC website for some LED indicator options, which stand by for that. I'm gonna have a full LED indicator upgrade on this bike, front and rear. I've already got the parts, but I'm not gonna give you a release date on that because I honestly don't know when I'm gonna have time. I have some other things going on. So just stay tuned for that release. Also during that install, I'm gonna tuck in my bags a little more. I'm gonna lay down the plate. So I think it's gonna be a video that a lot of you are gonna to wanna to see. There's gonna be a little soldering going on on the front end and the back end is gonna be full plug and play. So stay tuned for that video. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So for now, let's just do a quick install of these. I think they'll look better given the fact that they're the same brand as the pegs. Um, that's no hate on the built well ones I used previously. You'll notice that I said the built well name correctly on this video. Um, thank you guys, you gave me an option when I didn't have one. But like I said, I think these are gonna look better given that they're the same brand as the pegs that are currently on the bike. So let's get into this. Okay, we'll start by loosening the rear pegs and you'll notice that as I loosen them they start spinning. This was one of my main concerns when I first installed them without that ratcheting system on the clevis because I was afraid someone would step on it and that it would spin on them even under tension. Once we get the new clevis installed with the ratcheting system, I'll no longer have that concern. Now I'm going to use a pair of snap ring pliers to remove the clip that secures the retaining pin which holds the clevis onto the motorcycle. I don't think I used a pair of snap ring pliers in my last video because I was just illustrating that you didn't need to purchase these in order to get the job done, but it sure does make it easier. Now just take the retaining pin off and remove the clevis from the bike. But remember that there's a spring and ball under tension inside the clevis that could shoot across the room. So be prepared to catch those parts as you remove it from the motorcycle. Make sure that you also remove the metal mount because it's easier to reinstall the new clevis with it out of the mounting bracket. I've found the easiest way to reinstall the clevis is to just drop the spring and ball in it, place that into the metal bracket, and then place the metal bracket into the foot peg mount. This way the tension's real easy as you push it forward and it's not a struggle. Now just reinstall the retaining pin and check for function, making sure that it stays up in the up position and down in the down position. Then using your snap ring pliers, just reinstall the retaining clip and ensure that it's seated properly. From here all you have to do is reinstall the peg. But remember with this ratcheting system, you can angle the peg however you would like. I chose to keep mine flat because I think it's more beneficial for your passenger when they're getting on and off the bike. But if your passenger liked that angle while they were riding and it was more comfortable, it is an option. Thank you. 
Okay guys, here's some before and after shots just for comparison. You notice that on the right side of the bike are the built well clevises and on the left side are the Moons MC clevises. I think when you're running the Moons MC pegs, they definitely look a lot cleaner with the same brand clevises. They also sit a little tighter to the bike in the down position and they're shorter in the up position, which I like. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, if you need a pair of built well clevises, hit me up because they're a good option in certain situations and they're just going to be collecting dust. Okay guys, that's it for this one. But remember, I am going to be doing a full LED upgrade on this bike for the indicators and I'm going to be using Moon's MC parts to do that upgrade. So if you're curious about that video, make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Also, if you've been enjoying my content so far, make sure you do the three things. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my content in the future. So until next time, guys, this is Nick with Idaho Up, and keep up.